The year was 1954. With their sturdy, broken-down microphones, they were headed for greatness in the American West. Jack and Ron in the morning. If you don't laugh like this, you're probably normal. The following entertainment special contains mature subject matter. Parents may consider some of the program content unsuitable for children. Parental discretion is advised. Bad Boys of Radio. Uh-huh. Here's Jack and Ron. Yeah. Hey, we're here on a Monday. As usual, Monday, 1 o'clock Central Time, live. The Jack and Ron video podcast, number one video podcast in America. Thank from you. Othello's Italian Restaurant right here in Edmond at 1 South Broadway. By the way, a quick reminder, there's another Othello's location. Same family owns it, same great food, same great service. Uh, that one is on uh, Campus Corner in Norman. But uh, for our purposes, we're here in Edmond each and every week. And these people are great. Great Italian food. Monday is Build Your Own Pasta Day. For $12.50, you pick the pasta, you pick the sauce, you pick your protein, whatever it is. Twelve fifty, hell of a deal. Tuesday, two for one parm. Mm. Chicken parm, veal parm. Two for one. Mm-hmm. Hell of a deal. Yeah. Anyway, we got a whole bunch of stuff to cover today. Oh, yeah. And oh. I wanted to tell you, too, if uh, relatives are coming in town or maybe you just want to have a good time, you got to check out Andy B's. Man. Oh, yeah. Andy B's, man. Uh, it, bowling and social gathering. I'll tell you, it's approximately a block south of 122nd on Penn. You can't miss it. They got a B that's looked two or three stories tall. And you're going there, man. If you think you bowled before, no, you haven't. Not until you've been there. Uh, you, you think you know how to throw an axe? No, you don't. Not till you've been there. You think you know a whole bunch of different stuff, like how much you can drink. Well, they have this big bar, but yeah. we won't go into that. You but, think you know how to flush a toilet? Uh-uh. Yeah, they do it for you. Yeah. The automatic flush. And an arcade that is absolutely second to none. You get some tickets. The kids can go pick some prizes up. Look, it's perfect for folks who are coming in town or just for yourself if you want to get away from it all and have a great time. That's Andy B's. You got to check it out. We'll tell you more about it. Yeah. Like Ron said, Andy B's. The big letter B right out in front. I mean, it's like two stories high. Can't miss it. Like Ron said, it's just south of 122nd on Penn, on the west side of the road. Get in there, check it out. Yep. Plus, they've got pool, and like you said, the bowling, the axe throwing. Oh, uh, yeah. They've got all kinds. And they got an incredible bar, a full bar, all yeah. kinds of adult beverages. Yeah. And the, uh, the I don't know, the bartender, very, very knowledgeable. You can come up with something crazy. Yeah. Uh, they'll be able to put, you know, put it together. Or you can say, make me something wild and crazy. They can do that, too. You got to check it out. If you haven't done it yet, what are you waiting on? Great sponsors of this pro- podcast, as well as a company called Flash Hauler, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R.com. And we'll have more about Flash Hauler coming up as well. But Flash Hauler is the company that we always say moves merchandise like Uber moves people. Uh, they do all kinds of transporting of, uh, you name it, chairs, couches, refrigerators, washer, dryer. You? And they got, yeah, you. They've got drivers all over the city, trucks yeah. everywhere. Uh, you know, when a, a company you buy something from says, oh, it's going to be a week or so before we can get it delivered. You contact Flash Hauler by going to the website, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R.com. And Flash Holler probably, Flash Holler probably have somebody be able to do it for you yeah. in less than a couple hours. Yeah, hey, let them do the heavy work for yeah. you. There All you right, go. time to get to uh, two tough trivia. Oh, by the way, coming up on the uh, podcast, we've got uh, News of the I'll Be Damned, Sleazy mm-hmm. Trashy Showbiz Report. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the uh, dumbass joke of the day. Uh, did I mention News of the I'll Be Damned? Uh-uh, but uh, you also did not mention coming up, it was just just came out uh, this morning, as a matter of fact, as we do all of our show prep, the most honest city in America. The most yeah. honest city, city in America. In America. I got to find out who that and is. And I, I will tell you this. One of those cities is in Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. really? Imagine my surprise. <laughs> See, it is. <laughs> One of yeah. them is, is in Oklahoma City, well, in Oklahoma, at least in the state of Oklahoma. In, o- in Oklahoma. We'll find out what it is yeah, here in a bit. Yeah. But first, we got to get to Two Tough Trivia to kick off this incredible podcast. Uh, it's the holiday season, my friend. So I have to ask this question. What is America's favorite holiday film? It's a Wonderful Life. What is America's favorite Carol. holiday right. film? You said A Christmas Carol? Yeah, yeah and I say... Uh, Are you uh, talking about Miracle on 34th Street or something? No, <laughs> yeah. a, a Christmas story, A Christmas Carol. 
No, That's uh, the Charles Dickens one, right? Yes. The, and then there's also Rigos. a Christmas story, the kid with the BB gun. And then there's uh, It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart, uh, the black and white. And every then, time the bell rings, an, an angel, angel gets, gets its, its wings. wings. And yeah. then there's Elf. Uh, si- well, I, I, I tell you what. You're Silent bad. Night, Deadly <laughs> Night. Um, there's so many good Did ones. Did we name one? Jingle All the Way. The Pardon me? Did we name the answer? No. Oh my! So yeah, and I just oh, I know, to I know what it is. I, okay, I know. No, hold on, hold on. Just hold on. I, I know what it is. <laughs> Charlie Brown. No. Oh man. No. Home Alone. Like movie. Movie. Well, the, the Charlie Brown Christmas movie. Yeah, he did that, that, do it. Not, that was a thirty. Wasn't that a, a thirty-minute television show? No, that's not. Movie. I think it's Wizard a movie. Wizard of Oz. The, Wizard of Oz. I thought they always play that around Christmas yeah. time. Oh, really? Mm. I thought it was Scarface, but hey. Anyway, anyway <laughs> uh, a little bit later on, yes, we will tell you. Godfather. The, the, uh, <laughs> the Pulp Fiction. The answer. Oh, Pulp Fiction. Man, that was on this weekend, too. Anyway, I know. That, I love it. Okay. Yeah. So we got to get to Two Tough Trivia, and uh, well, we've asked the question, and now we'll get the answer coming up at the end of this number one video podcast in America. All right. Uh, but first, we got to get to um, Asinine Trivia, which is a little – contest we put together uh when the uh, what do you call it sales department would come mm-hmm. to us and say hey uh, we need you to give away uh, something really cheesy yeah. well, but we want you to make it sound like you're giving away a brand new cadillac escalade all right. while you're doing that uh, gotta say hi to mark wedge uh he says good afternoon mark good afternoon to you too my friend thank hey, you mark, for checking us for, out thanks for being a part of the uh, yeah. the podcast thank you mark uh okay so it's time to hit Richard, our producer, the executive producer, the guy who runs all the gear and does all the work. He's a whiz. Time to hit him with <laughs> asinine trivia. Trivia is so easy, it's asinine. All right, Richard, you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, question one. What type of ball do you use while bowling? Bowling ball. Bowling ball is correct. Nice job. I thought that might yeah, that was kind. Of, that was kind of, come on, man. That was a difficult one. <laughs> question number two. When someone yeah. says, hey, I really need some preparation H. What physical ailment do they most likely have? Uh, uh, a sore? Huh? But, a sore? No, <laughs> no okay. it, it might be sore, but yeah. no. It, but. When they say, I need some preparation H, what physical ailment do they most likely have? This is a pretty easy one. I have no idea. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Wow. Let me look over. Uh, really? really? You know, I don't think I have no idea. Oh, man. Is it on the ass? Yeah. yeah. Hemorrhoids. There Hemorrhoids. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Preparation age. Man, you Preparation can tell how young age. this cat is, man. He hasn't he hasn't had the uh uh the ailments of, the, of the an good older fortune. group of people. Yeah. Has, hasn't had the good fortune of <laughs> suffering from hemorrhoids. Yeah. Okay. Finally, and I know you'll get this one right, Richard. Question number three, name the two guys who have won more broadcast awards than any other broadcasters in the state of Oklahoma mm. and who often stand up while soaking their feet in cocoa puffs and almond milk, while squirting Ready Whip whipped cream topping from the can onto each other's bare bottom, while listening to the Macarena, and who also performed the number one video podcast in America. What is it? Who is it? Come on. Jack and Ron. You yeah. got it, Jack and Ron. Good Let job. me ask you this. Did you put the can part there on purpose just so it won't get like mistaken that you guys are squirting from something else? Yeah, they got that. It's a, a <laughs> smart man, smart man. Oh, I had a couple of things. I know we're going to talk a little bit about football real quick, but I had a couple. Uh, Patrick Mahomes last night, they lost. Uh, the Chiefs lost to uh, Green Bay. Questionable loss. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> and most of the time I was going, huh? Green Bay, how lucky can you get? They, th- there was one pass that the, the, the quarterback, Love, I can't remember his first name, uh, he launched while he was falling backward, just launched in the air. Uh, his like, name is Love. Yeah, and, and the damn ball just landed in one of his guys, you know, 30 yards down the field. Bam, and then the next one into the end zone, touchdown. I was just like He going, was throwing that ball like yeah. Patrick Mahomes used to throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor but Patrick. But no longer. I, I don't know what, what, the, what the deal is that – there are a couple of teams, and, and I, I know you have some more comments on that, but it, it just seems there was something going on. They just didn't have – they weren't pumped up. To, I know, to, and Taylor Swift was thing. there to give him the goose, but yeah, uh, that goose met its gander. Uh, here's a quick uh, uh, thought, too, and that I just read about the other day. Patrick Mahomes says he wore the same pair of underwear every game day for his entire NFL career. He's worn the same underwear. 
for every game day for no, his entire no. career, which <laughs> I, I think maybe explains why no one wants to tackle him from behind. Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, uh, Richard, uh, uh, something fell on the floor over there that belongs to you. and uh, You uh, don't want to lose that. Yeah, I, I promise you don't want to lose it. you see it? There you go. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I had a <laughs> quick little – yeah. <laughs> Quick little short update. A young boy in Florida, young kid in Florida called 911 so he could give a police officer a hug. He wanted to give a police officer a hug. A touching moment till he was arrested for filing a false police report. Well, um, why did he call? They, they why did he call the cops? Say, did they say what, what was the original like nine one one call? Yeah. He called nine one one to just. He said he just wanted to give a police officer a hug. No, wait Could a, a cop come over and give him a hug? Oh, wait, wait a minute. They knew what the call was about. Right. They came out there and then they busted him. I thought like the nine one one dispatcher could have been like, Yeah, yeah. I, I, we we can't do that, sir. I think I may have just made that part up about the kid being busted. Oh. I, <laughs> but at any rate, it sounded better. Made for a better story. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep the other versions. So well, what was an, another quick update for you uh, from the state of West Virginia. West Virginia has now been classified the most obese state in the country. God, we're just not trying hard enough, guys. Come on. Well, we, we, we're eating all the chicken fried steak we can get our hands on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm um, speaking of food, the cost of a traditional Christmas dinner, which yeah. will be coming up. They say the cost for a traditional Christmas dinner for a party of 10 is cheaper this year, uh, which means more money available for <laughs> BYO, BYOF for bail. Oh, after a oh, big okay. domestic dispute at the dinner table. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. Well, what else I'll we tell got you what, here? today is kind of special. Oh, uh, well, yesterday, actually, uh, that they termed the best day to put up your Christmas tree. Oh, no kidding. That was the official Christmas tree Sunday that you were supposed to. Now, I don't we have, should have put ours up. Well, I'm not going to. I mean, I haven't put a Christmas tree up in, in a number of years, and I don't know if I'm going to. I don't think we've put year. one up in four or five yeah. years. And, you know, we've got that easy one that we bought years ago, and it fits in the closet. It's got a bag over it, a big, huge, pla and you, you take the, you slide, it's on wheels. You roll it out, take the bag off, hit the remote control, it completely opens up, has all the lights and everything. It's like the coolest Christmas tree we've ever had, and we don't use it because, one, we always seem to be elsewhere for the holiday, and nobody ever mm -hmm. comes over to see us during the holiday season because, well, generally speaking, most people just don't like me. Well, no, no, let me ask this. Richard, have you been over to Jack's house this no, year? I have not. Okay, have not. good luck with that because... <laughs> oh, you're always welcome. <laughs> I, 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 you know, there's a guard there, and he will, he, he will, he will pat you down, <laughs> and he'll go through your car. Oh, most people that, consider that the fun part of the experience. Yeah, right. <laughs> pat but, me down. But anyway, yeah. you can check that out now. By the but, way, there is no guard at the gate, but you can think, you know, it's, well, well, it sounds good. Well, who's that stopping people? <laughs> just some dude, some <laughs> vagrant who came from the bus station. What, just a, decided, great, what a great job. A great scam. Charge you to get in there. Yeah. Uh, now, here's something. The most honest city in America. All right. And, I'm, and, okay. Let's, now, how many cities are on the list? Five, ten? I don't even know. Yeah, that was well, the number of cities because uh, there's only one and everything, everyone else is. Uh, is down, but the, I'm going to say the most the, honest city. Now, the most honest city is it a large city or is it a, a medium size? Or I'd you say call medium, kind of like an Oklahoma city, but um, but oh, man, smaller. I, th I thought we were huge, man. I thought we were kicking. Yeah, up. Well, well, that's what they we tell were. us. You know, we want to <laughs> stay big time. <laughs> we want we want telling. a new arena. Yeah, keep the Thunder uh, here to 2050. But anyway, that's okay. beside the point. So let me think. I would say most. Honest city in America. Oh no, I was going to say Rockford, you'll, Illinois. You'll never, no. you'll never. I can, I can even tell you what's. Is it East Coast or West Coast? It's uh, East Coast. What's what state? The, the Southeast Coast, as a matter of fact. Charlotte, North Carolina. No, no. South Carolina. Let, let me just South tell you the state, and then yeah. you can work from there. Florida. That's right. No way. It's in Florida. It's, it's in the city is in Florida. It's like Sun City, Florida, or some elderly community, because that's usually where the most honest people are. Well, the way they did this, yeah. The 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 poll was: if you found a thousand dollars, would you try to return it? Of course, I would. A, well, see, good. You need to you need to live in this city. <laughs> uh, I, on the other hand, would have to live somewhere else because if I find a thousand dollars. 
and it doesn't have uh, uh, any type of you know where it came from or anything like that, I might as well keep it because I can make good use out of it rather All than right. somebody going to, to, to buy something they shouldn't be buying. But okay, so you might as well go ahead and let us know. Okay. It's Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. You know, Jacksonville. Jacksonville Jaguars. The the one the one thing I know about Jacksonville, I believe, you know, how you know Oklahoma City has a massive amount of area that it covers as a city. I think Jacksonville, Florida is even just a little bigger. It's like the largest city area wise, geographically yeah. in America, but it's the most honest. Wow. Yep, that that's it. And then you said there's a city in Oklahoma City that also made the list. I'm gonna no, a city in Oklahoma. Uh, in Oklahoma, I'm yeah. sorry, a city in Oklahoma. I'm gonna guess it's Enid. Wow, no, no. <laughs> okay, can you, what town is it? Do you want to guess, Richard? What uh, town in this Oklahoma? Is a, this is a trivia, is it? No, that's no, just a, that's no, a that's a different movie. story. Uh, let's do. Uh huh. Uh huh. We woke up. Uh -huh. No. Hey. <laughs> Close, huh? Yeah, uh, I, I I got stories about we woke her. No, thank uh, you. <laughs> I will go ahead and just tell you. Okay, what city? Tulsa. I was gonna say Tulsa, but I thought I no, it's too big a city too, to be that honest. And I thought about the whole the whole. Uh, I know what you're gonna say. Uh, crap, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, yeah, the massacre when they massacre, burned down. Yeah, 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 I thought about that, and I was like, ah, uh, maybe it's not so. When they burned down that whole area, yeah, because yeah, uh, that was a while back, but still. Yeah. That would make me still think that, so that that's not the, the most honest. Huh? Yeah, made it, it made the list. Oh, I couldn't tell you that. By the way, we got to say hi to Sandra Weber and oh, Misty Purcell, all watching today uh, on the number one video podcast in America. Be sure to share this podcast on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're grabbing it. Uh, because yeah, we are on YouTube, the Jack and Ron Show. We're all over the place. If you can get a if you can get a podcast, no matter what you check out, then you will be able to find us. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Uh, as far as the honesty, women would keep the money more than the men would. The men would actually, you know, hardworking men who realize the 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 quality and and what it means to have a dollar. They would try to find the owner. Women, for the most part, would not. Yeah, well, that sounds about right. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, but I mean, you know, Ooh. I'm not being. Uh, yeah, we, what are you not? Being? I'm not targeting them, but I just see. That uh, there's, I just think guys understand more so the hard work that goes into making a dollar. That when somebody's lost it, they'd like to make sure they get it back because they put so many hours into making the money. Okay, okay. now now to go ahead and clean that up. Yeah, please. Uh, <laughs> Anything to dig me there, out of a hole. Yeah, yeah. They, Hit me now. They are the lifeline. The there are women. Who work just, just as, as hard, hard, if not harder, and, yeah, and, and make less money than men. That is so correct. I, you think about all the, the single parents that you know, moms who are raising their kids on their own. They have to go out and work a, a job, maybe a job and a half, couple of jobs. Yeah, they work hard too. Yeah, like all the single ladies, all the single ladies. You know, you know the drill, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, I had another thing I wanted what to What is in that bottle you're drinking out of, man? <laughs> Pure 100% water. Yeah, okay. All right. Is it called Everclear? <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of kids in Chicago learned an important lesson, kind of the hard way. If someone offers you a burrito for a very, very low cost, be suspicious. A Mexican place near Northwestern University had a $1 burrito event last week. Uh, now it's been linked to a positive norovirus outbreak, sometimes called the stomach flu, uh, usually caused by someone not washing their hands after they've used the bathroom mm. and then preparing your food. Welcome to this fine restaurant. What's the name of the place? They just gave the oh, called Big Wig Tacos. If you're ever in Chicago, stay away from Big Wig Tacos and Burritos. They had a $1 burrito deal a few days before Thanksgiving. All these kids headed home for Thanksgiving dinner on spring or uh, Thanksgiving break. Mm. They went home with the flu so they could share it with everybody else in the family. There you go. Nice, huh? Real nice. Yeah, that's wonderful. Oh, by the way, a little bit closer to home. Uh, your thoughts, uh, both you and, and, and Richard, uh, Oklahoma losing its quarterback. Had, I, had I was, a year of eligibility uh, left. I was sort of shocked, to be honest. And then yeah. somebody said, well, wait a minute. What about the NIL, that name? Uh, image likeness, the money you can make. I thought they were making a lot of money right here, but somebody said 
Oregon might be the place he goes because apparently someone up in Oregon is willing to just throw all kinds of money at these players. Well, yeah, I'm looking at the the players here, and I, I think if you were going to go ahead and put some money in their pockets because of uh, of that, we would have seen more of them. And I've seen one or two players mainly, but they were all basketball players, not football You're players. You're talking about doing college. commercials yeah, or endorsements, things of correct. that nature. That is yeah. correct. I heard uh, Stoops, the uh, Drake Stoops. Is that his name? Yeah, Drake Stoops. I heard him doing endorsements for – can't remember what it was, but I heard it on radio. Is it a dealership? No, it wasn't a car dealership, believe Same it or not. What's the name do? Uh, Sanders Sons? What's Deion that? Deion Sanders Kids? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, Deion Sanders yeah. Kid up there in Colorado? Yeah, both of them, they got some. They're making some oh, money. Well, he, yeah, his kid is driving a Rolls Royce. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I said, well, you know, that, there, you, there you go. So we'll, we'll see exactly what happens. I, I feel kind of bad for Dion to a certain degree because – uh, people's memories are so short. Uh, the school, Colorado, the last year won one game. One game. He so far, and it's over, he's won four games. But now a lot of the players that had committed to Colorado are decommitting. And uh, it's it's kind of it's, it's kind of well, they cool. got it got rough for him the latter part of the season. No, no well, doubt about well, it. Well, yeah, I mean you 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 bringing in a bunch of kids, uh, they haven't been playing together, sure. and things yeah. of that nature. So you know it's just to be understood. We understand it. I can't understand why other folks don't understand it. But I think uh, to win those four games, and he brought that school a lot of money. Oh yeah, oh, he brought the school money and recognition that they. Never oh had. yeah, for yeah. a while it was all about Colorado. They're watching him. He's on different talk shows. The whole nine yards. Well, the whole state just, you know, they 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 definitely yeah got an extra penny into you. Yeah, so they I'm did I'm, all right. So I'm wondering what we're going to do. I know uh, uh, Jackson Arnold is supposed to take over. Uh, they say for, he's a pretty Gable. slick quarterback. Yeah, I mean, he he he, uh, he played for a while, but yeah. but with one year of eligibility left, the money you mentioned, Jack, that could be a, a thing. But still, why leave with one year? Of eligibility left, and this is and he's familiar with the team, the coaches, the coaching staff. And I know great, Levy had a great season, uh, yeah, and I know Levy left, but uh, to take that Mississippi State job, but still, the remaining coaching staff is still there, and your head coach is still there. I, I, yeah, anyway, it's interesting, and I thought if you're going to leave, I'd just try to throw myself into the NFL draft, although he may not have. Uh, I, I don't think high. he's. I don't think he's ready for that. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. All right, we got to get to some audio that we have here for you because there's so much going on on the number one video podcast in America featuring Jack Elliott and Ron Williams. Yeah, about, about half the show's gone already. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, we've blown a bunch of time, haven't we? Hey, sorry. Hang in there. We got a whole bunch of great stuff coming up. I know. Don't. don't don't base it on what you've heard already. Think about the future. <laughs> yeah, some real good stuff is coming. We, I promise. We promise. All right. A woman flying on Frontier Airlines from Philadelphia to Florida was caught on camera. She was kind of aggravated, pedoed, something got to her. Uh, anyway, she was caught on camera pulling her pants down to take a leak in the aisle of the plane, not the restroom. Mm. Anyway, here's a clip from the video showing an unnamed woman. Uh, they didn't give her name, huh? Starting to pull her leggings down and yelling at people on the plane and then taking a leak. Here we go. Sorry, everybody. Are you serious? Wow, oh, she had to pee. At least she apologized. Uh, well, I mean, no, wait, wait. wait. What, what, what type of little, I, I don't know, little hopper aircraft was this? They didn't have a... a uh, they have a, a restroom, restroom that they maybe a, somebody was in. On that maybe, flight, I bet they had two, one at front, one in back. Okay, well, see, that she was just trying to show out. Yeah. Or maybe they both was full. Well, they could have been, but, I mean, yeah. surely but, but you can still, hold it. Yeah, you got to hold it hold for them long you enough to. Wake up this say, was oh, an yeah, adult yeah. woman, a full-grown woman uh, who, because uh, I saw the video, this is a full-grown woman. Times? <laughs> oh, you! I promise you, you wouldn't want to see it more than once. Having seen it one time, I mean, yeah. So anyway, this full-grown woman was not able to hold it. Wait till she could go to the restroom that may have been occupied at the time. I've been on planes and flights before where there might be two people ahead of you, if they need, you know, and then you just wait your turn. Simple yeah. enough. Well, see, guys uh, can't hold theirs as well as women can hold theirs. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. W women can can really hold theirs. Guys, on the other hand, we 
you know, we got to go. We, we start fighting. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We got to take a quick break. And as I promised, a ton of great stuff coming up, including the sleazy, trashy showbiz report email. Uh, we've got the news of the I'll Be Damned. Dumbass joke of the day. Try bond a whole bunch of stuff coming up. It's a lot of stuff, man. Oh, yeah. We'll tell you a little bit more about Andy B's, the incredible bowling center, and just fun all around. Social place gathering place. That's what I like to come And we'll about. tell you more about Flash Holler. All coming up in a bit. Hang on. We'll take a break. Be right back. Hey, Jack. Hey, Kay. I need some wings. Are you guys up there? Affirmative. Your backup is cloud base. It's all on the cloud nowadays. That's funny. But do you guys have the wings? Winger, Jack. Winger. Winger. Hey, they had a couple of big hits back in the 80s, remember? Winger, big hair. Great wings don't just fall from the sky. They come from Louie's, where we're preparing food fresh daily. Come try one of our great new sandwiches. Or wings with any of seven delicious sauces. Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. We've got this down to a science. Over. Yeah, we're just not up here winging it. Hey, Al, I thought we were meeting at Othello's. Hey, Jack, I am at Othello's. Well, I'm looking around, and I don't see you. Well, wait, are you at Othello's in Edmond? No, I'm at Othello's in Campus Corner in Norman. Oh, great. Well, fortunately, both Othello's have great Italian food. They sure do, and I'm having the baked Z. Ooh, I'm having chicken marsala. Let's continue with the meeting. Yeah, sure thing, over the phone, but I need one thing. What's that? Uh, your credit card number, because you're buying. Othello's Italian Restaurant on Campus Corner in Norman and in downtown Edmond. You bought it online, and now you need to haul that big couch. Flash hauler it. Bought a washer or dryer and need to transport it from the seller's location to yours? Flash hauler it. Have office furniture to move across town? Flash hauler it. Car breakdown and you need a tow? Flash hauler it. Anytime you need furniture or appliances moved or need a tow, flash hauler it. Haul it, tow it, deliver it with Flash Hauler. Download the Flash Hauler app free. Do it now. Flash Hauler. Yeah, right here at Othello's Italian Restaurant in uh, Edmond. And uh, you're welcome to check them out every day. They open at 4 o'clock um, every day. They're closed on Thanksgiving. They only close once or twice a year. Thanksgiving is one of them. But, hey, they're open uh, throughout the uh, holiday season, and they got some great pies. You want to check out some pie? We had it last week. Whoa. Oh, man. Chocolate cream, pumpkin cream, uh Coconut cream, we had some yeah. incredible pie. I went by the kitchen uh, as we were coming in, and no one was in there, so I, I guess we don't get any pie today. No pie no yeah. pie for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We, <laughs> we got to tell you a little bit more about Flash Holler. Uh, they're the game changer in the moving industry, and now the game changer in senior moving because they have hooked up and integrated their system with all senior living centers, all of them, not just one or two, but all senior centers in the state of Oklahoma. So if you've got elderly relatives, and they don't even have to be that old, but if they're looking to downsize, move out of that home where they've got to maintain the yard, take care of, you know, everything from uh, the, the maintenance and so forth, the shrubs and all that. Neighbors. They, yeah, they want to <laughs> want to move into an area where it's like less or low maintenance. Talk to the folks at Flash Hauler because they have hooked up with all the senior centers in the state of Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. You can go to flashholler.com, F-L-A-S-H-O-L-R.com. And like we've also said, they transport and move all kinds of merchandise. Oh, hauling the, furniture, there's junk removal, you yeah. moving in, moving out. Uh, you're packing, you're unpacking. Uh, if you need to donate some uh, unused furniture, all of this, Flash Hauler can handle for you. Yeah, they've got these uh, featured drivers. They uh, call them... Service providers, all and right. they provide all kinds of service. So call them anytime, flashholler.com, and, and let's you, remember, yeah. go ahead. No, I was just I was just going to say something else going over to our other sponsor. But oh, right yeah, ahead. about uh, Andy B's. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you got Flash Holler doing all this, then you've got time to go to Andy B's, my friend. Oh, my God, they got yeah. that luxury VIB bowling with interactive lane graphics uh, powered by Spark. Uh, they've got duck pin bowling. If you've never done that with the smaller ball and a smaller lane and the smaller pins, that is so cool. They have that Mustang automobile that's chopped, chopped off the top. It's a pool table. They've got a full bar, yep. every beverage you can imagine under the sun. And, uh, of course the arcade, Ron, oh, what the, about it? All right, this arcade is second to none. We're talking about the latest games 
that are out there right now. And right. of course, you get tickets if you are really proficient at going ahead and, and dealing with this game. But you can, you know, you don't stick the tickets in your pocket. You take it to the Redemption Center where there's a big room full of prizes from the roof all the way to the floor. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. And don't forget about the axe throwing, especially oh, yeah. the, you know, I, I, I did that. Uh, I don't know. A friend and I did that for about an hour. And I had never done that before, and I ended up having a ball. I it bet is, your arm was tired a day later after throwing that axe no, for an hour. No, 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 it really wasn't. Man, you're in good shape. But they have you have a, a way you can go ahead and do the. He's a stud. He's a stud. Yeah. <laughs> you could go ahead and change the the target. <laughs> they even have a trivia game fixed yeah. in. I mean, it's all of that. And here's something good. Uh huh. Maybe uh, you can't make it during the day. Hey, they rock at night. Not only is the price lower. But at the same time, you can bowl as much as you want. Yeah, was it after nine o'clock? You can bowl forever. After, at, after nine, my friend, bowl till you can't see. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, and I'm not kidding. That's how I bowl you sometimes. Know, like I can't it, see. It, it, may, <laughs> it may sound like we're just over exaggerating, but once you step into this place, you're going to say, "Oh no, they weren't overstepping. They weren't." Uh, exaggerating at all. This place is phenomenal, no doubt about it. Uh, Richard's been there. Ron and I have both been there. We've all gone in there. We've watched, watched Richard fail miserably at some of the video games. Uh, but it's just <laughs> part of the... It was amazing. It, yeah, <laughs> it's just part of the competition and the skill level that Ron and I possess that Richard maybe hasn't yet quite stepped up to. But I hey, haven't developed yet. You haven't, haven't quite developed. developed yet. Yeah. Anyway, check it out. They're located. Andy B's again. Look for the giant B. It's about two stories high. The letter B, it's right there just south of 122nd on Penn on the west side of the road. Northwest Penn and 122nd. Andy B's phenomenal operation. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm checking my uh, schedule. And it looks like we've got to get to email because we have a lot of people who check in with us who say, hey, I got uh, problems. Can and you guys help me? Especially around the holidays. And oh, here we God, go. Yeah. Dear Jack and Ron. Uh-oh. My children are asking questions about Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. A TV movie, I know the one she's talking about, has a black Santa. They've seen differently dressed Santas as well. Ho, ho, ho. How do I explain all of this to them? Well, uh, put it this way. Santa has helpers, okay? Mm -hmm. And he can pick out whatever helper he wants to work, whatever neighborhood or whatever the case you, you want. I right. Mean, you could have Native American uh, uh, Santas, uh, um, you know, Latino Asian Santas, Santa. yeah. Yeah, all of that. But uh, I'll tell you what, I did check. And uh, en enough with the, you know, with the parents and things of that nature. And they have their own feelings about it. All right. And they said, Santa is green. Okay. <laughs> kind of like the Grinch, but only on the good end. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, the, the, the green, green kind of like the money they spend around <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> now they said Santa is green. so <laughs> Green uh, lag money. Yeah. So, so there you have. And, and go ahead and explain it to them that they're Santa's helpers because Santa's real busy right now. Hey, look at it this Somewhere. way. When I was a kid, I didn't care what color Santa was. As long as he brought me stuff, that's all I cared about. That's the way all kids are. By the way, we got to say hi to Shelly Jordan, who's checking out the uh, video podcast, along with John Bennett, who says, woohoo, which he does each and every week. Thank you, John. When he checks in, we've got some audio for you. Uh, time for another classic Jack and Ron version of the old TV show, Leave it to Beaver. Uh, most people, even young people, are familiar with this old TV show that starred Jerry Mathers as Beaver Cleaver in our uh, twisted understanding of life at the Cleaver residence. Oh, yeah. This is, I'll tell you, <laughs> this was a lifestyle that everybody uh, except those in my neighborhood could identify with. Yeah. <laughs> well, and truthfully, it was hard for anybody in my neighborhood to identify with it, too, because everything was just so pristine and perfect and uh, you know, uh, mom's walking around with pearls, pearls and, yeah, and a dress, cooking, <laughs> making cookies every day. And and Beaver would come home from school. Here, Beaver, you got your cookies and milk. And I'm thinking, I come home from school. I'm a turnkey kid. I got to go into the house with the key and hope nobody else broke in. And I'm <laughs> going to be yeah. assaulted. And, and, so, the, and the, I don't know if it, it was the same. And I was for living you. in Chicago. So I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if it was the same for you, but uh, same way, last key kid. And I couldn't come in and just chill. No, no, you I, I got had a chores. list. I you had got... a list of chores. You're yeah. absolutely right. A list of chores to do. It's like, hey, I'll say to myself, I just came in 
from school, a rough day at school, <laughs> right, really rough. Tough day at recess. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. And now all of a sudden I have these chores to do. Oh, my. So uh, oh, my. I, I said, you know, folks will, will understand when I don't do my chores. Well, and <laughs> I got news for you. They, they didn't understand. <laughs> well, here we go with this uh, Jack and Ron, um, I guess, recollection of the old TV show, uh, Leave it to Beaver, uh, in our uh, various, you know, programming of the show. Uh, oh, God, remember, uh, Beaver Cleaver's um, teacher was always trying to find a way to get rid of Beaver's mom so she could step in and become the new Mrs. Cleaver, and she truly knew everything about the household of Beaver and his family. Is the name Letourneau? Yeah, <laughs> could have been. <laughs> oh, okay. Listen up. Gee, Dad, I feel kind of creepy. Well, Beaver, what is that? Uh, my brother Wally says he has grown out of his underpants, and now Mom wants me to have Wally's hand-me-downs. Dad, I don't trust Wally's underpants. I think the elastic waistbands are probably all stretched out. And I actually think I have a bigger package to cover up, if you know what I mean, Dad. I think I take after you, and Wally takes after Mom. Dad, my teacher, Miss Landers, thinks it's a bad idea for me to wear Wally's hand-me-down underpants. You're talking about your drawers with your teacher? Miss Landers says it'll constrict me physically in a way to where I won't be able to fully develop. Dad, I don't want to be a dwarf. I want my body parts to be anatomically correct. Uh huh. Miss Landers says she thinks I'm physically very much like you, Dad. Gee, Miss Landers sure knows a lot. Dad... <laughs> Maybe I can have your hand-me-down underpants. Miss Landers says yours would fit me better. On second thought, Dad, can I just go to Kmart for some underpants? Like that guy in the movie Rain Man? Dad, I'm I'm constipated. Would you give me an enema? Gee, Dad, I got some problems, don't I? Yeah, you do. <laughs> Gee, Dad, what do you do when you have constipation? I don't get constipation, son. <laughs> Gee, Dad, you must be perfect in every way. Well, I'm, I'm sure glad you're my dad. And I'm glad you're my son, although you wear the hell out of me. <laughs> I do, I've, got to, I've got to talk to Miss Landis. She's just, she's just a little, you know, they say loose lips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Good gosh. All right, there you go. Another episode in the life of uh, Beaver Cleaver, the Jack and Ron version. Okay, we got to get to news of the I'll be damned. We ready for this? Oh wow! How can you be ready for that? <laughs> Somehow we are. <laughs> yeah, always. Lay it on us, brother. Oh man, a man in Oklahoma, guy in Oklahoma named Jose Silverio. <laughs> he wanted a beer early last Sunday morning, but man, he didn't want to pay for it. Why would you want to pay for the anyway? Yeah, Jose. Yeah, good old Jose. Jose. He wanted he wanted a beer instead. He wanted a beer. Yeah, okay. He didn't want to pay for it, so he went into a convenience store and used a pipe. Big old pipe to smash the doors of the two coolers. Stole the beer and drove off in a Land Rover. Pretty nice vehicle. The employees called the cops, but he got away. A few hours later, Jose crashed his Land Rover through the front of a grocery store. It's unclear if the accident was intentional or if he was just drunk. Either way, <laughs> either way, he realized that he was done. His goose was cooked. So he cracked open another beer and chatted with a few of the witnesses while the police were on their way. When they got there, they arrested Jose for fel felony vandalism and larceny, mm. along with other pending charges. Way to go, Jose. Nice job. Nice job. Uh, I had another one here. Well, at least they didn't have to chase him. No, no, they didn't. You're correct. A 53-year-old man in West Virginia named Dale was arrested after allegedly trying to kill someone for eating all the tacos. The victim said that Dale saw that all the tacos were gone because, well, he wanted one and became irate. He went to a bedroom and came out with a 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle. What? The victim saw the gun and ran upstairs. Dale fired several shots after him, hitting the staircase, but apparently no one was hurt. Dale was charged with attempted murder, his being held in jail. It's unclear what kind of tacos they were. Must have been damn good. Uh, they must be delicious, because if it's hard to imagine anyone shooting someone over a taco, uh, especially Taco Bell, it, it apparently happened. Now, see, I don't, I don't quite understand that. This was a guest in this man's house? Yeah. And they ate up all of his food, and this man was in his own home. In his own with home. With his own gun, shooting up his own stairs, and, they, and he got arrested? He was and hungry. That's why we call it News. 
Tears of the I'll Be Damned. Ah. There you go. All right. All right. What do we got coming up here? Oh, I guess we got another piece of audio. My God, we're just flying along all of a sudden. For a while there, we, we, we got, you know, stalled. But now we picked up the pace, haven't we? Man, the program director would love that. Uh, <laughs> we used to work for plenty of program directors whose uh, b- biggest statement to us was, uh, shut up and play more music. Uh, I was always, shut up and play more music. And, and yet, what did every person on the street come up to us and say, hey, I don't like the, when you play the music. I just want to hear you guys. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, do you give the listener what they want or do you just listen to the program director who, you know, has no clue what's well, going on it, in the outside world. It gives the program director power. Yeah. He feels, you know, power at this at this particular point, not over you, but also with maybe the record companies and things sure. like that. He gets getting Oh, stuff and then he feels yeah. like, oh, upper management will feel like he's doing his job by jumping our ass. Well, anyway, we don't have to deal with those <laughs> creeps anymore. Uh, time for another piece of audio. A mobile home park groundskeeper in New Hampshire passed away earlier this year with a big secret. He, the groundskeeper at the mobile home park, was a multimillionaire. Mm. Jeffrey Holt was his name. Hell of a secret. Yeah. Now it isn't a secret anymore. Jeffrey Holt. Any relation to our mayor, isn't it? Mayor Holt? Uh, anyway, I don't think so. Jeffrey left behind a fortune of, get this, $3.8 million. Left it where? $3.8 million. And he left it to the town of Hinsdale uh-huh. to benefit the community in areas of education, health, Recreation and culture. Here is his friend Edwin Smith talking about Mr. Holt and Mr. Holt's life. Jeffrey was not one to miss work. He just showed up and did what he had to, but he didn't want the expense of having a car. He was very much into cars, although he didn't own one or drive one. And when Jeff realized that he had a couple million dollars in the bank, he didn't know what he was going to do with it. The only parting thing I said to him was, Remember the town of Hinsdale, and apparently it resonated quite well with him, more so than I even expected. He had several million dollars How in the bank. How much was he getting paid? How do you accumulate <laughs> several million dollars without even knowing you've got it? I, what, what I, sort I of, no, I, again. How much was he being paid to? He's a accu- groundskeeper at accu- a trailer park. Uh, to accumulate that much money. He wasn't CEO of IBM. He, he was, didn't win a lottery. Well, yeah, he worked at his, as a groundskeeper at a trailer park. Oh well. Well, hey, to his credit, he left the money behind to help with education, health, and so forth in the town of Hinsdale. Very nice of him. Well, I'm hoping they had better people handling education than we do here in this city. Good God, no yeah. doubt about it. We've yeah. got, we got some real problems in education here in this community oh, I, and in the entire state of Oklahoma. Yeah, and uh, you know what? Uh, I looked around and sort of out of the state of Oklahoma, there's a uh, oh a, a certain sameness about attitudes and things like that. I don't want to get into it right now, except that I'm going to say uh, learning about my history should stay in school. It should not be taken out as certain individuals, and I won't mention their name, uh, want to happen. So, you know, you you don't deny someone's heritage. Plus, you know, and I'll just say this and then drop it. There are, you know, when you take about the the cross-section of cultures that are attending public schools, uh, there are different religious groups, you know, among them. So to make them uh, recite and be a part of a particular prayer that isn't necessarily affiliated with their culture and their religion might not exactly sit very well. That's all I got to say. Separation of church and state. You know what? Some wise men many, 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 many years, many ago. years ago uh, saw that and mm-hmm. uh, said not only uh, is there separation of church and state, that America is, uh, was not made a Christian country. They came over. In fact, uh, I was uh, reading and watching this article. Uh, that's why they came here in the first place, was to get away from oppressive religion in the first place. Well, so much for us not talking about it. Well, sorry. But- <laughs> you, you, you t- it, it just hit me, man. It, I know. It, I understand. Just- I, I'm completely, you know, I'm on your page yeah. with this deal altogether. I just think... Uh, like you said, some very smart men many, many years ago recognized and realized you've got to keep the separation of church and state. That's right. And, and whatever happened to those men of, you know, that type of mentality and brilliance and intellect, uh, where did they go? They've decided not to be in politics, I guess, because what we've got ain't working. Ooh. All right, we got to get to the dumbass joke of the day. Oh, do we really? Yes. Oh, wait. No, no we can't. Please. No. Please. Please. 
I take that back, erase it. Rewind the tape. Okay. It's time for the sleazy trash showbiz report. Good God. <laughs> I'm going to ask you one more time. I know. What What's in that, in that bottle? bottle? <laughs> well, contestants for Netflix's Squid Game, well, the challenge, went through a ton of condoms. Condoms? Oh. Yeah. Because they were trying to use the lubrication as a lip balm, but that didn't work, by the way. What lubricant? What are we? What? Interesting. Yeah, and what I, I'm looking at is a ton of of uh, of condoms. Do you just did they have them there for a reason? I know it's a bunch of folks to start with, but they're just handing out condom condoms left and right. Anyway, they just wanted the lubrication for for lip balm, and that didn't work. So excellent. Yeah, Kelly Clarkson's ex husband must pay her over two point five million dollars because of commissions he took. That should have gone to her talent agent, but instead, yeah. See, I, from what I understand, he was trying to represent her as a talent agent, but in California, you have to be a licensed to be is, a talent agent, and he wasn't licensed. But still, he got her some pretty good gigs, from what I understand. He helped to launch her into some of the things she's doing currently or some of the stuff she's done. Yeah, but she should have known that, and whoever her talent agent really is, should have been jumping on yeah. that a long time ago. True story. Yeah. Well, uh, Martha Stewart wants to pose for Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue again. I'm all for it. She's already working on her bikini body. All right. And uh, I, I think that's great, too. Uh, but, hubba, hubba. Frankly, there's something yeah. about her. Uh, the guy that Mike Tyson beat up on that plane a few months ago, uh -huh. uh, he, he wants to get paid now $450,000. That was but some time a, some time ago that that fight happened, yeah, right? Yeah, and as I understand, Didn't it he was hit him? yeah, yeah. I was about the to guy say, hit him with he, a water bottle or something. That's right. He's the one who started the fight, and Mike's the one who ended it. Here's the thing <laughs> that got me: they were on a jet blue flight. Why would Mike Tyson ever step on a jet blue flight? I mean, wouldn't he have a private jet of some type? Well, you, you're talking about the old Mike Tyson yeah, that was knocking Mikey's, out people. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't got the yeah. Mike, yeah he, I mean, hell, he's I, married, has kids. Now. I, yeah, I think he, I think he plans it. He, he puts his money in different. He's not he puts his money in. A, yeah. Well, you I'll let his wife what. handle most of the most of the money now. Yeah, you're unlikely to even see me step on a jet blue flight. Jet now. blue, baby. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Hey, well, Nick Cannon says he spends two hundred thousand dollars a year taking his kids. To Disneyland. Remember, cool. he's got eleven of them. Oh God, yeah, eleven kids. Two hundred grand. You know, that's Not amazing. Too bad. Not too that's, bad. Yeah, two hundred grand is probably fair. Yeah. for eleven kids at but, Disneyland. But here's the bad part: when he used to work for Disney, he would get all that for free. But not, uh, <laughs> not anymore. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, the head of Marvel Studios, says, regardless of what you may have heard, Iron Man will not return. Oh wow! And Taylor Swift. Are you ready for this? Yes. Had 26.1 billion streams on Spotify. And you get royalties for that's that. Just about, that's just about 30 more than us. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and Richard could He's tell you this. You, yeah. the, you get royalties for that. You know yeah. how much uh, royalties she's getting? How much? $100 million in royalties. Richard, where are our royalties? And we're about five hundred thousand. So but, she's beating us by just a little bit. Yeah. Beating us by a little bit. Wait, wait a minute. Bit, she yeah. had what is it? Twenty six point one billion, billion, and we got five hundred thousand. Yeah. Well, hey, just look out. You keep your hands on your butt, Taylor, because we're coming for you. Yeah. yeah. We're coming. Hey, for hey, you. By the way, that's your Hollywood update. All right. Very well. By the way, we got to say hi to Nancy Laborde or Laborde. She says, "I always love listening to you too." Thank you. I well, appreciate you. that. All right. Now we can go back to the dumbass joke of the day. You guys ready for this? We've got three very cheesy jokes. And uh, once again, we call upon Ron to pick one of the cheesy jokes. So, yes, Jeez. once again, Ron gets to pick his cheese. I love doing okay. that. Okay. Number one, the adoption agency. Number two, the password. Number three, a day of shopping. Okay. The adoption agency, the password, a day of shopping. Come on. Well, let's see. Uh, well, my parents used to tell me I was adopted, so. Okay. <laughs> but right. it was only after I'd done something stupid. So uh, let's go with the adoption. Okay, agency. now this is a little bit longer story, so pay close attention. 
A husband and a wife who work for the circus go to an adoption agency looking to adopt a child, but the social worker has doubts about them being suited because they work in the circus. So the couple shows pictures of their 50-foot motorhome, well-maintained, even equipped with a beautiful nursery for a child. Well, now, the couple working for the circus, the social worker likes it, but then raises the question of educating the child. And the husband says, look, we've hired a full-time tutor who will teach all the usual subjects along with French, Mandarin, and computer science. Social worker's pretty pleased, but then says, wait, wait, wait. How will it be raising a child in a circus environment? And the wife says, hey, we've hired a nanny who's an expert in pediatric care, nutrition, and diet. And the worker finally, finally is happy and says, well, what age child are you hoping to adopt? And the husband says, doesn't really matter, just as long as the kid fits in the canon. Oh, the circus, yeah, you get it? Yeah, the circus. Yeah. It's just, just as long as I think, that was, I think that was a jet blue flight. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Holy moly. All right, here we got another one for you if you guys didn't like that. Uh, during a recent password audit, it was found that a guy from Arkansas was using the password, listen to this, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Huey, Louie, Dewey, Donald, Goofy, Oklahoma City. And they asked, why such a long password? He said, remember the guy's from Arkansas, he said, he was told that it had to be at least eight characters long and include at least one capital. Characters. Mickey, Minnie, Pluto. Yeah, uh-huh. We get it. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. We got it. Uh, I got hey, one last on. one. Here it is. He's, yeah, you he's, know, he's what, been what, building what, up to this. Yeah, I was about to say, this we're is sliding Ron's towards... Ron's fault for picking the cheese. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're okay. sliding towards the, a new year, so I, I expected... Uh, well, you know what I expected. Well, here's... <laughs> Hey, it's the Jack and Ron Show. Lower your expectations. Here we go. (laughs) A guy and his wife are in town shopping. They've gone shopping. As they come out of a store, there's three girls about ages 18 to 20. They walk by wearing tiny crop tops, super short shorts, skirts. Mm. One was a tall blonde with really fantastic, long, perfectly toned and tanned legs. And the guy says to his wife, I bet you wish you still had legs like that. Well, the wife got really upset with her husband. In fact, she could be heard weeping and sobbing as he wheeled her up the ramp to the next store. Damn. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, man. Man. Come on. Jesus. This is Brutalville. I, I, Jack and Ron show. I, you didn't edition. like the first two, so we had to get dark. I know, but, but <laughs> sli- he said, we had to go to the dark, dark level yeah. of humor. Sometimes we got to go dark. The, the, the it is what, winter. Dark it's dark early. What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't even get a bell on any of those. Wait, well, you didn't? No. Nah, come on. Okay, I got Yeah. Uh, that covers all three, that, I guess. That last one, man, was kind of, I don't know, it was so offensive in about two or three different levels. Oh, I know, and that's yeah. why we used it, because in most cases today, in this society, yeah. you can't do that stuff yeah. without being that's reprimanded, true. fired, that's true. Oh, you I know, understand. all kinds of crap. Well, there's one other statement Nobody about can that fire too. us. We own this yeah. damn thing. Preach it. The, the, yeah. the one thing I like about it is, is that was the funniest one. It was <laughs> the funniest one. That was the funniest one. Yeah, no, you're right about that. I'll have to admit that. Hey, <laughs> next week, I promise we'll have better jokes, better material, and less offensive material, okay? It we like don't want a Papa John's commercial. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we don't want to offend people, do we now? It's kind of, you know. Oh, we never what, do. It's just the what way would they happen, take it. you know, what if Red Fox and Don Rickles were still around today doing their stuff? Whoa. I'd be laughing my butt off. I would be too, I because would. I love both those guys. Yep. There you go. Okay. We got to get to Tribon. Now, this is the one we gave you last week. Uh, November 27th was a Monday, last Monday. We gave you this one. Three words. You got to come up with one word that works with the three. We call it Tribon, and we gave you the reveal today. But I think we already had somebody. I think you guys came up with the answer. That is correct. Okay. The three words last week roast, <clears throat> flower, jack. Oh, yeah. Roast, flour, jack. Pot. What was it? Pot. pot. Pot was correct. Yeah. Pot roast, flour pot, jack yeah, pot. Uh, Ron had wrote it down. Ron had written it down? I, th- I thought so. Yeah, you yeah, did. I did. I, you did. You showed it to me. So, yeah. Yeah. Pot but, was the word. But Richard remembered it. So, it, it's, it's like he has a mental pencil in his brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kathy Lamondia is watching too, and she got the answer. She wrote pot. So very good, Kathy. All okay, right. we, well, we got one. something else for you, Kathy. Hang tight, baby. Come on. Here comes the next one. 
This one might be a little more difficult. I'd say level of difficulty out of 10, maybe a 5. Here we go. Sign whole season. Oh, now, man. Now, when you say whole, what type of hole are you talking about? H-O-L-E. Okay. Yeah. That was, that was a Richard question. Richard had that same question? <laughs> okay. We're speaking of whole. So say those three again. Sign whole season. All right. See, I decided because you guys are thinking, oh, it's so easy. I get it every week. Well, guess what? That one might not be as easy. It might be a little more difficult. Um, and I think I said this one would be like out of a 10, maybe a 5, maybe even a 5.5 in difficulty. You sound kind of vengeful right now. Sign. <laughs> I'm a little tired of you guys guessing them before we're done. Sign, whole, season. Those are your three words. And uh, next week, uh, which would be December 11th, next Monday, we'll give you the answer if you oh. don't get it. Well, I'm, I'm looking at, uh, uh, I don't know, Kathy, uh, I guess I can use her as so I can just ask you. Open? Uh, let me look. Hold on. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. not open. Okay. Hey, Sorry, Kathy. Kathy. That was a good that's one. That's a good answer. Yeah, really? Okay. And why, uh, wouldn't, way, why wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, I, it that's not the word. Me, but it could be, the, could be the word. Meanwhile, that very same Kathy, <laughs> Kathy Lamondia, says she saw Red Fox, Red Fox live at a USO tour when she was in the United States Air Force. Well, thanks for serving our country. And, you know, what a great show that had to be. Red Fox. One of the uh, uh, originators of really good humor. I yeah. mean, what I call good humor. Well, see, I, I, mean, I didn't know that, that the humor was questionable until uh, I was visiting, I, real young. I think I was in elementary school. I uh, went up to Kansas to see some relatives, what my folks did, and, and they had a, a record player there. Oh, and you yeah. had one of his albums. Uh-huh. Oh, my. And, of course, they weren't, you know, the kids who were there, their kids weren't allowed to... to uh, listen Enjoy, to it yeah. so you know we put it on there and just started just had a great time listening to all the jokes not knowing that that record player also doubled as a christmas carol deal they uh. had speakers outside <laughs> <laughs> so, so that all the neighbors yeah, could hear all it. the neighbors were listening Beautiful. to red fox let me tell you something red Jesus. fox he had a cut on one of his albums one time uh it was called Sug detergent and fug soap. Yeah. If you couldn't sug it, fug it. And that, that was that was part of Red Fox routine. That guy was I consider him a Cal comedic genius. Yeah, really. Cal well, yeah. That he was hilarious and filthy. Yeah. yeah. Hilarious well, and filthy. Well, you know, you look at it this way. Back then, number one, he couldn't play all the clubs that you know he, he yeah. could play now. But he had to work real hard at cleaning the dirt up just a little bit, not all of it, but clean up some of the dirt so he could say it. You know, look at what, so he look could what, be on network TV and even yeah, have a network TV is, show. That yeah. is correct. It was, Boy, anyway, what a great show that know, I was, think too. I'm gonna go, I think I'll go home and, and listen to some Red Fox. <laughs> Red Fox, around, <laughs> outstanding. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, we also mentioned Don Rickles, who today, some of the stuff he got away with or did, I, and I, 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 I was never offended by any of it. I was never offended by Red Fox, Don Rickles, uh, Richard Pryor, any of those guys. I just found them all to be damn funny. Yeah. And it's just that people today are too sensitive. You have a sense of humor. Yeah. And I like to think we all have sense a sense of humor. And uh, We'd all love to think so. Yeah. All right, we got to get to uh, never know. <laughs> wrapping this thing up with Too Tough Trivia. You posed the question at the top of the uh, podcast. What is America's favorite holiday film? I said, finally, after I went through uh, Elf, and it's a wonderful life, and uh, several others. The Grinch is still Christmas. Grinch is still, and I, I just decided maybe Home Alone. And Richard, I think he's probably right. Well, he is right. Home Alone. It's Home Alone. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And uh, oh, it's a one. I've, I've thought it's a wonderful life, wouldn't that be? But it, Home then Alone again, is like a staple. Yeah, I was about to say. And well, plus, and it's, it's a little a, more modern. Too. Yeah, it's yeah. a wonderful life. Got you know, it's in black and white. And uh, people are running around trying to not acting like we would act now. So, yeah, Home Alone, I think it reflects today's time. At and all. didn't he get his start this year? Yes, he did. Macaulay he got, Culkin? He got a, he got a star on the, on, the, uh, on the Walk of Fame. For what? Home Alone. Now, see, everybody else, they get stars for a career of excellence. 
The only well, thing didn't he, he did do Home Alone 1 and 2? There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Home Alone 2, Donald Trump was in it, remember? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Back when uh, I really liked him. <laughs> uh, never mind, I'm going to let that go. Uh, anyway, uh, it is Home Alone. Yeah, there you go, Home Alone, uh, Macaulay Culkin. Favorite part of that movie was the fact that I'm watching it, much like many people, when he has that videotape yes. of that m movie, which never really existed. They made that movie for the Home Alone movie, the one where the guy is saying, you know, I'm going to give you to the count of 10, you know, to get your ugly, no good keister off you my property. filthy one. animal. Yeah. Filthy animal. Yeah. Merry <laughs> Christmas, you filthy animal, and a happy new year. And he takes it, one, two, ten, boom, boom. I love that. And that, that was called, a, the movie was called Angels with Dirty Faces or something. But that was never really a movie. It's something they created for the movie Home Alone. Can't find them dirty angels. That's pretty creative, no, man. No. That is pretty damn creative. Okay, so there you have it. It was Home Alone, number one Christmas movie uh, in America. All right, I guess we got to wrap it up. Thanks to Flash Hauler, great sponsor of the show for a long, long time. If you're needing to move anything, contact Flash Hauler by going to flashhauler.com, F L A S H O L R.com. You'll be surprised at how easy it is and how nice they are. And they've got you covered. They've got you. Oh, yeah. And of course, we got to thank the folks here at Othello's Italian Restaurant, located in Edmond. That's the one we're in. Or you can go to Norman, if you're down in the southern part of the city, uh, Norman, they have one on Campus Corner. They open at 4 o'clock daily. Great Italian food. You are going to love every minute of it. Uh, also, thanks to uh, the good folks at Andy B's. Uh, Look for that giant letter B out in front. Let me tell you, it's during the holiday season. People coming in, or maybe you just want to get the kids out of the house or get Perfect yourself place. out of the house. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. That's right. I mean, things for the kids, things for the adults, and a big old bar that I, I'll tell you, you'll want to hang at for quite a while. Yeah, they got a great <laughs> bar in there. It's a giant, uh, big, big bar, and it's a beautiful place. It's, uh, I mean, the interior of this place will shock you when you see yeah. how incredible it is. It and is the arcade, the bowling, the uh, darts. Is, or the, oh, the, 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 they've you. got darts, they've got pool, they've got axe throwing. Yeah. The part I like is the robot. If you don't feel like carrying that bowling ball for you, they have a robot that will carry it for you, taking <laughs> Pick up the ball, and, and you just it just Wheel follows it over you. To you. It, it's great. You got to check out. It's Andy B's. It's on Pennsylvania, about a block south of 122nd. Yeah, 122nd in Penn, just about a block south on the west side of Penn. So check out well, Andy B's. you can't miss B's. that B. <laughs> no, that B is like two stories high. Yeah. Andy B's. We got to get out of here. Remember when you go out to do what you do. Come on, man. During the holiday season especially. Do it like Jack and Ron, you know, mm -hmm. the hosts of the number one video podcast in America, coast to coast, global around the world. Do it like Jack and Ron. Be the very best at what you do. Give it 110, 120, 130 percent. By God, <laughs> do it like Jack and Ron. Go out there. Give it hell. Bye bye, everybody. Good day.